What's good, YouTube? I am Sad Boy Will, and today we have Stung by Killer B by none other than Bravely Wilderness, Coyote Peters. Um, if you don't know who this is, you've been sleeping under a rock for the past two years, I believe. Not count 2020, so I would say about 2018, 2019, and now he's back 2020. I think he's done one before this one sometime this year but i'm not sure um i have to go back and check but this guy has literally been going and traveling all around the world like a madman educating people on different insects and animals and he does he's done series on aquatic life he's been bitten by snapping turtles uh uh spider hawks whatever they're called he's been stung by the most powerful stinger and the insect pain index like this guy is a trooper man and to see that he's coming back and he i think he's doing this because um we had like this whole thing last year in 2020 where it was like these murder hornets um possibly like swarming and, and moving and you know possibly coming traveling across the world um adding to the list of problems we had in 2020 um and he had to come on here and educate people that you know they they aren't what they are like you know what i'm saying a lot of people were saying these are murder, murder hornets and they're actually not they're this and that that i think he even got stung by one to show that you know even though it hurts it's not the end of the world um so i think this these are the true like things we were afraid of that he's about to get stung by the other the other things that people were talking about the murder hornets i don't think those were the ones that we should have been worried about i think it's these um so without further ado let's see coyote peter jump back into the sting sting zone and and that's a lot of bees right and there. see but my my only thing is like i that's thought bees only sting out of out of survival because if they lose their stinger they die the, they pull out their whole abdomen if they sting. oh he he already getting stung swarmed by killer bees killer bees it's a term that swarmed the United States in the early 90s blanketing the nation with the fear that being covered and stung to death by Africanized honeybees yeah Africanized honeybees very painful do and while people do die from bee stings every year due they to do their allergic reactions, oh allergic reactions yeah killer bee is nothing I knew a girl back in in elementary she had a bee fly into her mouth and sting her all in her mouth Today we are She's wild. in a bee yard getting ready to check. I don't know if I've ever so been stung by a bee. Determine if they have been reprogrammed from I feel like I have and I just never like noticed. Stock. You would never want to approach a colony of bees in the wild. So today, you saw the honey dripping. Alongside my good friend. Made me want to call my girlfriend. And conservationist Chris Brinton. <laughs> this guy knows bees. Chris is dedicated Quote the B movie then. Without saying you like jazz. Africanized colonies and genetically reprogramming them. boy twerking. European colonies. The easiest way to That feels kind of racist. Like Africans the Africans are the savages. Queen from the hive, but but the but the Europeans are called friendly European queen. Oh. Eventually, <laughs> friendly queen's genetics are passed on. Y'all literally breeding bees and ultimately safer for a honey farmer to work with. This process Y'all hear about the 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 girl effective. on TikTok going around with no Today, bee equip with no equipment with removing beehives of an and whatnot and then they found out she's like a fraud like her husband comes in chops up the the, the comb so she can remove them safely swap the queens so the and the bees are like put their place there purposely because they're european the and like more calm worked, to find out. i'm sorry this is a lot of educational stuff is unique now, this was an africanized colony that's been brought into the bee yard and what chris has done is replace the queen 
Remember, at mm. one point, this was considered Africanized killer bees, which are incredibly aggressive if provoked. Bro, bro about to be right, fighting for his go. life, because usually he only gets stung by one thing. Now he about to get stung by a whole that bunch. Crack the seal between the wax and so Those the gloves, you need a double layer of gloves, bro. Whoa. You might need a double layer, layer of everything. These right there. So far, so good. They seem to be pretty calm. I want to create myself a little bit of space by separating out this first frame from the others. Then, as these don't really I'm scare me like they used to. It's the wasp. The now that I know frame, bees are like right really aren't like aggressive by nature, right, unless you get the Africanized well. ones. Which are rare to come by. Wow, like most bees are docile and just that trying to figure out what's going on around them. Wasps, wasps on the other hand, do not die when they sting you, and they will sting you repeatedly just for no reason. Yeah. Set this frame off to the side. Look at that honeycomb. Get any further, it's important that we understand what a killer bee is. Uh huh. That's a that's a that's a uh, the eight-tailed jinchuriki from Naruto Shippuden. He's black. He comes from the uh, Cloud Village, um, uh, Land of the Lightning, um, Lightning Village. His brother is the is the eighth, seventh or the eighth Raikage, um, the, who lost his arm to Sasuke Uchiha, Amaterasu, um, Black Flame. But then he he ripped his arm off and then lariated Sasuke at the Five Kage Summit. That that's who Killer B is. There are swarms of European bees <laughs> interbred with invasive East African lowland bees. Bakiero, Bakiero. Creating aggressive swarms of what are now. Boy is made as swarms as in a cave. Oh this yeah, they they the real deal. These bee types. They look kind of thick though. Is that Africanized bees are far more aggressive and react <laughs> faster <laughs> to perceived threats. The sting of a killer or Africanized bee. Don't they still die? More potent than that of a European bee. But because they attack in greater numbers, oh, this yeah. leads to more stings and the chance of death. Bruh. Hence the nickname Killer, Killer B. Baki at all, Baki at all. Don't want to squish anybody. Yo, yo. Middle frame. No, the tool. Bro, I already got stung. Ow. Bro, oh, I, I bro, they were supposed to. Okay, Bro, you're stupid. Bro. Secure. Secure your gloves, bro. Yep. Gotta love honeybee stings. Okay. Ah, wow. Honeybee stings. More potent than you would think. Okay, let me uh, bring out this frame. Bro, they on your ass. They are on your ass. Woo, look at that. That is a lot of bees right there. Shake it one time. Check one more frame back. All right, next frame coming up. They ain't as they ain't as uh, aggressive as I right thought there. they were. Like they obviously they're swarming around them, but much stuck right in but they, they but they not now going crazy. The level of aggression that is happening right here. It's like a, it's like a five. Right in between, not necessarily. Yeah, as it's like a five, five on a ten scale. Swarm of killer bees to be, which tells me that this queen is doing her job. She is successfully reprogramming a lot of this colony into being more docile. Now, I was stung once in the process, but really that was sort of my own fault. Yeah, that was your fault. Being peeled back from my gloves, and I was inadvertently stung, but. I'm not getting attacked to the point where the bees are latching onto me and inflicting a bunch of stings. So mm. that is actually a really, really good thing. That means that this colony... <laughs> the bees the like, I'm pussy. <laughs> I'm pussy. <laughs> sting, sting, sting. Friendly, docile stock of bees for producing honey. So remove the queen. Right. I, would say I want to see what you do, what they do when you remove the queen. The back into place. And closing up the box. It's definitely intimidating to be. I wonder how many bees you accidentally killed doing this. Question, Bro, his glove is still exposed. Doing this every single day. 
to help with the I would have put rubber like I see your skin bro you're gonna get stung every once in a while it's inevitable bro I see your skin okay, so bro now cover up that we've got the frames back in place I want to make sure that they are balanced and even I want to gently move the bees away from the edge of the box and crush them little niggas make sure they're all kind of tucked back down in there and don't touch me white man switched. and last but not least we put the lid back on. And you want to do it at a little bit of an angle so that you can kind of push any last bees out of the way. Really gently. Imagine getting kicked out of your home. Voila. There we go. It's important to remember that all bees are going to defend the colony. <laughs> out in the wild, if there were to be a bear that comes into the environment Bruh. and tries to break into Bees, bees got to be bears' worst enemy. As a natural defense to ward off anything that's Imagine you're a bear, them. one of the most feared mammals. So it's not most feared predators on land. And you go to get some honey and like a swarm of bees just attack you, bruh. Of a beekeeper. Right on the now, nose, right on the snout. Time to treat that sting. Hit all your gums and whatnot. During the Hit, summer months, st sting you in the eye, bruh. When humans accidentally step on a honeybee that is pollinating a flowering plant. Who steps on flowers? Before we get to treating the sting, bro. there are a few things you should know. First, is that only female bees can Worker. sting. Now, it's obvious the stinger is... What? Bad. I never knew that. Is this in... Is this just this subset of, of bees? Or has this been like the whole thing? Only female bees sting? What? I never knew that. Sharp. But did you know that unlike wasps and hornets, honeybee stingers are connected barred. to the yeah, result, the abdomen. They, become they get stuck. Skin, which can allow for a larger dose of venom. Larger now, dose of venom, venom but higher of risk of them dying. Simply put, Y'all got it down to the chemicals. That causes pain, swelling, itching, Bro, I remember that episode. An level of discomfort that Boy, it looked like collagen. To teach you a lesson that you will never forget. <laughs> Boy, it looked like a filter. So it's time to show you that sting looks deadly, bro. Golly. Is be brave and stay calm. Hey, no, time your time thing is be brave and stay smart. You notice that the swelling is... That's your, that's you your tagline. Really ...or you start having trouble breathing, feels like your throat is swelling up, that means you're having an allergic reaction. I think old girl that, that I was telling y'all in elementary that had to be flying in her mouth was allergic. It's just going to be... Because they carried her off. And swelling. You need to see her for the rest of the day. Going through right now. Now, in my arm... That boy is swole. ...a stinger lodged into the skin. Oh, that's why. The best way to remove a bee's stinger... It's flicking it. ...simply slide it out with oh. the edge of your fingernail. Wow. How are people Ooh, use tweezers? There you have it. That be dot. That see that. That be dot. That is a pretty long, yeah. sharp, needle-like thing. Now, if Gave you, you are pipe and you have access to soap and water, it's always best to wash off the stings. Wash gently before you go forward with any further. Don't want to irritate treatment. the skin. Now, one thing that I always have in my first aid kit Epi -pen. is Sting Kill. Oh. One of my absolute favorite products. And Sting Kill comes. Oh, you got the Epi Pens, though. You got the Epi Pens, though. Sting Kill wipes. These oh, the wipes. Masks. Okay. And then, of course, the neon green Sting Kill box. Boy, got potion. He got the green goblin potion on him. Like, bro, I'm not about to. <laughs> I'm not to play with you. Now, what I'm going to use first is one of the wipes. You can see this is just a little Ugh. bit of gauze. The, for, the, the forbidden uh, <laughs> white. And menthol, and you want to just gently wipe it over the side. Yeah, gently, oh, clean it gently. Boy, he got a knot on his hand. He, he only got stung once, stung. and he got a knot. And it also just puts a little bit of comfort in your mind to say, okay. There goes that I know after this That's camera went off, really he was scratching the hell out of that. And you can see that my arm is quite swollen. All Bruh. this area of the skin is taut. There's literally one sting. That's perfect. Now, and his shit blew your up. This sting is still bugging you. You can go all the way to. Just chop off your arm. That's in a little plastic. Boy, you got the all potion. Feel that out Bruh. of its packaging. The actual serum itself is encased in glass and plastic. What you want to do is squeeze the plastic <coughs> and crack the glass. 
and just shake it out. I'm gonna rub it on the thing. It's gonna work itself down into the gauze pad. Like that. Why they turn on the and suspense music? Bro, he is safe. <coughs> Bro, he's oh, safe. Yeah. He's safe. He's away from the bees. You can turn off the suspenseful music. Hey. <laughs> Post production. Have a popsicle. Maybe some brave wilderness episodes on YouTube and You're right. You got a lot of catalog that I haven't seen. I've only really watched his Sting stuff and some of his like Snapping Turtle adventures. But he has some really interesting videos, man. A painful situation that's gonna last for a short amount of time. Then you can say to yourself, hey, just like Coyote, I have entered the Sting Zone. You're gonna have a great story to tell. Bro. Today was incredibly Keep me away from all and any insects. Killer bee swarm that is being genetically reprogrammed and is becoming a more save the bees, man. For the production of the keeping the world alive. You learn what to do if you get stung this summer by a honeybee. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Shout out Coyote Peter, man. He's like after losing, you know, Steve Irwin. We didn't really have. Like, Steve Irwin's kids are still actively, like, um, like, l carrying on his, their father's legacy. Um, but, you know, it's not as, as, like, publicized. Like, you see them every once in a while because, you know, they got married or had a kid. Um, which is great. Like, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be chasing after their father's, you know, dreams. If they, as long as they could preserve his, 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 his you know business and you know his legacy that's good enough for me but it's you know it's good to see people like coyote peter you know taking on the challenge of the new wave of like the internet and, and keeping people informed about animals and, and wildlife so he's dope man i always appreciate his videos anyway guys i know there's like the maybe two minutes left stung to death by killer bees is not something you need to worry about this summer <laughs> And if it makes you feel even better, today Chris has captured thousands of aggressive killer bee swarms. And once introduced to the European queen, every single colony has been successfully reprogrammed. All it takes is a soft woman to change a man. It's important to remember that honeybees are Which not doesn't make sense, because only the women sting. Are they lesbians? Like, why would y'all be so gung ho over, like being aggressive and stinging like like you can't mate with the queen like not allowed to get you i don't know there's a lot of stuff i still don't understand do job pollinating our planet which ultimately helps in the production of many foods we eat you just waste a whole bunch of fruit yeah, accidental stings do happen so that you was your fault facing the uncomfortably potent venom of a honey that bee died too just remember be brave and stay calm enough the first aid is quick and simple. Boy had the serum, the potion. Nothing. Eat Sting Kill. For more information on Sting Kill's products or where to get them, make sure to visit their website by clicking on the link. Bro, if I can't go to Home below. Depot and pick up some, like, just, bro. <laughs> Think about the go on their website, bro. Just Amazon carry it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to sh uh, check out Brave Wilderness and Coyote Peter for more videos like this very interesting if you grew up like me watching you know animal planet steve Irwin, crocodile hunter you know uh what was what was the other dude jeff Cord cordon like check out coyote peter because he does such cool stuff and puts his puts his body on the line for for the sake of you know educating and you know dope channel man Anyway, guys, if you have any more reaction requests, leave them in the comments below or hit me up on my social media. You know where to find me. I'm about to get up out of here. Stay away from the bees, but save the bees as well. Peace. That boy said be